Aren't these the cutest little potatoes you've ever seen? <laughs> making uh, lunch slash dinner for me. It is beautiful out here. We're getting a good amount of solar. More than enough to work and you can see my neighbors are much, much farther away. So I do have these folks back here. Not too far. They've got some ATVs and some fun toys, it looks like. Aside from that, it's been, it was a great sleep last night. Wonderful sleep. The downside, though, is that my cell service is a little spotty, so. That might mean I have itchy feet and I need to uh, head more that way. I know there are two cell towers for T-Mobile out here. Um, from the beginning of town, they're kind of on the southwest corner, so I think I might go back over there. I don't know, we'll see. It's hard to give this spot up, but. The dogs are having a nice peaceful nap. It's been a pretty good day. I've only got a couple more hours to work before, before I clock out and make some steak here. Got some bananas. Got these little tiny potatoes that uh, got two different types. So more of a yellow one and then kind of a red, petite red potato there. Um, I haven't had the, the small, I assume they're just same flavor, just smaller, but Pretty easy to cook, I'd say. No complaints. I don't mind this stuff, it's okay, but it is no Montreal steak seasoning. Not a lot of kick in this, but uh, pretty, pretty tasty. I mean, garlic goes on just about anything. It's all right, it's all right. All right, a little darker than I would like. Normally, I, I like somewhere in between. I think this guy is just right in the middle, though. So I actually figured out what was going on, why I um, ordered the wrong bike cover. Uh, it turns out that the manufacturer had their Amazon page and they just swapped the text around. And so, like when I had ordered it before, because I used the exact same link, it was a three to four bike cover, or two to three to four, it was XXL. Now it only does like one to two. I love these little potatoes, by the way. Very good. But uh, that allows them to keep the good rating of the larger cover, for example, and even if they're just like temporarily out of stock, they don't have to create a second page. They can keep all the good ratings. I'm not a fan of that tactic. One thing also, while cooking these steaks, pretty dang perfect for me. I like them medium, medium rare usually. But if I use um, olive oil, it it like fries and crisps the outside a little too much. But if I use butter, it's just right. So seven minutes on one side, five on the other. And because I'm impatient, usually less. <laughs> hmm. I will say as well though, I don't think that anybody's gonna mess with us. Our visibility out here is really good. And then of course I've got two pretty good dogs. Samantha's a lot more in tune and skeptical of everything. So she like lets out her, uh, her bark, her howl, and everybody thinks it's coming from Colt. So between the two of them, I have a complete dog. And uh, <laughs> that, the cameras, and then honestly, I have a basically a 360 view, you know, all in all. I do, uh, I do think that, like, for example, in the Holiday Rambler, or any class A, really, but the Holiday Rambler, when we get that, we're going to have a better view because right here is kind of where my line of sight is, so I can either see down or up. Uh, but dang good view out here. Obviously, when I'm sitting here, I don't have visibility out here, but I can just kind of peek back. No complaints. Man, I, and, and it is nice because uh, I got the whole bed, so I get to starfish out. I got the whole bed to myself last night. But... Somehow, I still got caught up in the blankets because there's two blankets and I ended up kicking off the uh, <laughs> the warmer ones. That's on me. I still am going to blame Emma, but... Mm. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> I didn't even hear them take off. Guys, <laughs> uh, it is 
It is so beautiful out here. Cacti, you know, something that uh, I find interesting is there are so few uh, power lines and advertisements that I'm seeing out here. Which obviously, like, if you're out here on BLM land, like, it's like a no, well, no, no sh right? But like, at the same time, it's overwhelming how many of them that like, you just kind of get used to it until you don't see it anymore. It's been really, really quiet out here. So oh, the mountains are just beautiful when they light up like this. I think I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do think that Arizona sunsets are the best. Florida's amazing. The coast of Washington, very, very good. But Arizona's, I was using Primo for some reason in uh, one of the one of the recent videos and uh, Arizona sunsets are Primo. We're not getting good service. Um, it's actually usable, usable, but it's less than a megabit per second. Uh, and it goes up and down. I, I don't know if there's like interference or something like that. So I'm going to try the other side again, the southwest corner uh, from the city. I'm not trying to go too far out again, still working. But uh, if the southwest corner doesn't work, I'm gonna try the northwest corner and then the northeast corner. Well, in worst case, we come back here because this is a nice spot. Oh, I feel so lucky. <laughs> I feel so lucky, you guys. Uh, yeah, let's go see what there is. Alrighty, guys. We are going with the old head mount option here. Excuse the uh, mess on this seat. It's <laughs> it's one of those things. Gotta put that away. But how do we want to get out of here? Yeah, that should work. I figure a head mount is probably uh, the safest way to drive while showing you guys what I'm seeing. And honestly, it's the easiest. Well, there's a taco truck over there. I'm going to go this. I think I went this way. I'm guessing I went this way. I don't know how the heck I would have gone in here. <laughs> That's a cool trailer. I know a few folks. I think uh, there was a Gary. Uh, they they like the uh, little echoes. I know another person had one on order, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there's an Amazon or there's a Winnebago Echo, Amazon Echo. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, you guys probably can't see these very well, can you? Uh, you know what? We will be back, though. Don't you worry. We will be back. I have a whole project to share with you guys. We will be back. Found the main road here. Ugh. Oh, there's that echo. Whoa. There we are. <laughs> there we are. A little, uh, little trailer down here. So the nice thing about uh, camping out here, if, we, if you've got a trailer, is I mean this is this is some pretty authentic camping, right? It's it's one of those things where you can unhook and then head straight to town. You know, it's unlikely that somebody's gonna mess with your stuff. I mean, I wouldn't leave my bike unlocked, but at the same time, I don't think anybody's gonna steal your trailer. This person's got tents and a whole setup on their van out here. Look at that. Quite the setup there. And then you've got a big old Montana over there. Yes, indeed. Woo wee! Got a, got a schoolie up there. <laughs> he gave me the wave. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Woo! All right. Got some friends out here. Friends out here. Now, there is a long term visitor area, and there are some areas that you have to, you have to check in with the campground host, I believe. Um, ooh, little ambulance. I don't think I showed that yesterday. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna worry about about you know going to those spots. There's enough that you don't have to mess with anything. You know, you just gotta be a little. You know, worst case, you're closer to your neighbors, but folks are friendly around here. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep life simple for the time being. But uh, if we were full, if we were traveling full time, I would definitely go to an LTVA. Ooh, a little bounder there. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, I just I love it. Uh, one of the this is one of the few places you know that they're just. It's really designed around RVers and with RVers in mind. I'm sure this was at one time kind of a ghost town, and then all of a sudden, you know, you got a lot of folks that. They come in with their RVs and it's good for the economy out here. You know, folks are gonna need stuff. 
Uh, it's good for the RVers because we need all we always need a place to go. Well, that's a big old big horn. But yeah, just imagine though you set up your uh, you got your fifth wheel out of here. Oh, everybody's going. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, just imagine you got your your fifth wheel out here. You get set up. You can separate your truck. I mean, fifth wheels are just massive. Just massive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a mansion on wheels, guys. I mean, you, what are you missing? You got 100, 150 gallons of water. The more the merrier, granted. Maybe you got a uh, flexi tank in the back of your truck. You can plumb in water. And then, of course, you got a, you can have the, one of those little totes. Or maybe you have a composting toilet. If you have solar, you, do you even have to move that thing? Not say not. I mean, <laughs> I mean, for those that are living in houses, especially, and this is beautiful weather, it's wonderful weather. This is like 65, sunny most of the day, partly cloudy, obviously, but getting excellent solar today. What are you missing out on? What are you, uh, what are you afraid of missing out on? I'd love to know. You know, I know a lot of folks are worried about uh, community, but I know that when I was in an apartment, I didn't have community. I had one neighbor in a duplex once, it was a, a most wonderful guy wonderful guy I just what a, I mean what are you missing out on yeah I am gonna probably choose one of these one of these spots over here I think is what I'm gonna do but there's one other spot right over here I might I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop up on and take a look Ooh, squeaky brakes oh, I, I see a fire pit over here so I see a fire pit and that looks like our spot right there yep Yep, I'm gonna face, I'm gonna face the truck this way. We got some uh, friends over here. I think that uh, that Class A moved since yesterday. Okay, yeah. See, it says no camping permitted past here. That doesn't say anything about over here though. So, okay, let's go on in here. All right. No big deal. Easy does it. Woo hoo hoo, Nelly! <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> I've been in much, much more trouble than this. You know, I want to get over there because I don't, this is a driving. Woo! All right, easy there. Easy there. This is a driving area. I want to get right in there, but I might have to back her on up this way. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Yep. Also, getting a solid 10 miles per gallon. It's, uh, it's a lot of comfort for 10 miles per gallon, I'd say. Good fuel economy for a house. Yeah, right here. It's, it's a little bit of a dip. A little bit of a dip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is worth it. I apologize if I'm ever blocking your guys' view here, because... You know, it's a little higher up than I am. A little more. I'm scraping something. What are we scraping here? Well, not scraping that. Oh, it's the uh, muffler in the dead tree there. <laughs> okay. As long as we're not scraping the back, we're good. Easy does her. Well, now that we're here, do I want to stay here or like here? God, there's so many, so many choices, guys. I'm thinking right here. I think of right where we're at. How about that? Huh? Now, solar should be pretty good, I would expect, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. The, the solar today was really good, but it's also, I know it affects, like depending on how you're angled more, yeah, I don't, it's a, the angles are all weird out here. Ah. <sighs> All right, I guess the question is though, do we get good service out here? That's the real uh, fast.com. Now we have a 4G router. Let's see, do we get good service? Isn't those picturesque guys? I know the sunset's not impressive yet, but how beautiful, I mean, what a spot. Some turds left some plastic in here. It looks like some styrofoam, maybe some rubber stuff. 
that's a bunch of nonsense to me, but yeah. Yep. Let's see, fast.com's getting us 640 kilobits per second. 1.1. Hmm. All right. So using the uh, advertising laden Google Chrome, if I run a speed test, I'm getting 0.74 down and 5.37 megabits up, which is kind of crazy. I don't, I don't know if somebody is out here streaming and hogging the bandwidth, but 99 millisecond ping. Yeah, that's... But this is definitely better than what, we, <laughs> what I was getting before. But if we go to, say, YouTube, because that, you know, honestly, that's, <laughs> why not? Uh, yeah, things are loading a lot faster if we go to uh, Fooligans, pretty unoffensive here. Oh yeah, look how fast that's loading. So, I think we're in better shape. Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Man, you know, I, I, I really think that like a lot of folks might think that uh, we should 100% regret our decision to buy this motorhome, but it's a, still a beautiful motorhome, undoubtedly. I just wish it had kept the, its promise. Yeah, let's see if I can get a thumbnail. Oh, that's a good one. And that gorgeous, look at the moon out there. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if I can get a good shot with the, the moon. Eh, I'll probably make that. Yeah, there you go. These hooligans. Let's go take a look at this cactus. Some of this desert life. I know a lot of folks don't like to uh, carry firearms, or that's uh, something that they're. Well, not beautiful. Look at that. Something they're against. But uh, one thing that you could easily carry, because I think everybody should carry some tools on them, and I'm not a fan, personally, just me. I don't have hand-to-hand -hand knife skills. Uh, that's definitely a whole. That's a whole thing whole genre of self-defense and, and a discipline uh, but you can easily carry you know pepper spray with a knife I don't want an attacker coming within you know that range but this gives you some distance right uh, some people are uh, immune to the effects of pepper spray that blows my mind <laughs> so this may not be 100 but you know it's a, it gives you a fighting chance right that's what it's about yeah hey, look at this cactus isn't she a beautiful, oh man, beauty. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Crocs may not be entirely appropriate for, oof, almost got me, for desert life, but I'm not gonna give up. Ooh, here's a shot right there, look at that. Man, look how flat it is right through there and then it just leads up to these beautiful mountains. I love Quartzite, come on. You know, it is weird being, <laughs> isn't this interesting? Weird being near so many other people that think like you and live like you, they don't see you as strange or weird or exotic or anything like that, just for living tiny, you know? And, uh, it's definitely one of those things where living this way, and I'm sure I've, I've preached about it enough already, but living this way gets you connected to your surroundings in the world. And, and you can't tell me that the vast majority of people are uh, connected to their world. It gets you connected to yourself. And there's so many other things, right? But it gets you connected to yourself. Um, there's nowhere to run, guys. You know, if you and your partner, if you so ha so choose to find one, you and your partner have to work it out. You don't have a lot of secrets. You know, you pick up on one another's behaviors, patterns, their needs and your own needs. You know, good oh boy. I don't know that I'm ready to make it all the way to the top today. At least not in a, not in my Crocs capable Ugh. and they're uh, I got the ATCs the all-terrain crocs the all-terrain clogs ATCs but they're kind of like a Subaru Forester Subaru Outback right like dang yeah they're really good they're comfortable they're a good ride decently fuel efficient you got 8.9 inches of ground clearance standard 
that doesn't mean they're actually perfect for all terrain. They should call them a most terrain vehicles. And these are a most terrain croc. Most terrain clog. I feel like a very um, controversial person. For example, I like pineapple on my pizza. And I like black olives. <laughs> Which many people, they don't like either, right? And that poll, by the way, was shifting significantly pro-pineapple. But now it's very anti-pineapple. But... You know, there's, there's that. And growing up in Seattle, right, you're expected to lean a certain way politically. And, uh, you know, I clearly do not. I actually, I carry and use and enjoy firearms as a tool. You know, that's controversial enough. Live in an RV, that's pretty controversial. <laughs> less, less and less so lately though, but. You know, I like dogs more than cats. In some circles, that's pretty controversial. And I like Crocs. That's, that's polarizing. That's the real kicker right there. It's, that'll get you kicked out of places. Bring your Crocs in. Here's another good shot right there. Look at that. I have to work on my leg strength i need to take emma's bike out for a good spin and i think i'll do that tomorrow go for a little spin around quartzite my may or may not record it you know but i do need to introduce you guys to some of my photo gear i think there might be some folks that are interested also if you didn't know this this is what's called golden hour it's uh the hour after sunrise and the hour before sunset here, you get this beautiful golden light. And a lot of, you know, if you're a photographer or a videographer, you know this, but not everybody does, right? If you ever hear the term golden hour, this is it. It's beautiful. Perfect angle for portraits or whatever you want to do or photography of tiny homes and RVs. And then if you ever hear blue hour, it's the hour before sunrise and the hour after sunset. That's, uh, that has its own, especially for landscape photography or uh, cityscape, street photography, things like that. It can be just as beautiful. You guys know, you've seen it. And now you know what to call it. If you didn't already. Right, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Also, this life is so perfect. If you have animals, you have dogs, you know, well, let them be animals. People are so afraid of that. These are far from purse dogs, and there's nothing wrong with having a small dog by any means, right? But dogs are dogs, and they want to explore just as we do. I think that we somehow convince ourselves that we're so unsafe and, and that we need certain things that we definitely do not need. I want to touch on minimalism at some point, right? And, and none, of my, none of my videos, none of these topics are telling you to do anything in particular, but it might resonate with some folks. I want to talk about minimalism, I think. I will say, no matter what, and this goes for us as well, Emma and I, we don't need nearly what we think we do. And frankly, you might think that uh, the latest and greatest whatever, hey, it's a good looking schoolie, will make you happy, but it won't. It will not make you happy. You know, possessions don't make us happy, right Colt? I don't know, it's gonna be, that's gonna be a, its own thing so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna end this video here thanks for watching guys see you in the next one <laughs> bye